share key information on three topics. Penang's raw water challenge, water treatment in Penang, and water conservation initiatives in Penang. All right, good morning, everybody. You just had a very short trailer from uh, our educational partner, Penang, uh, Penang, Perpadanan uh, Bekalan Air Pulau Pinang, PBA Penang. Right, so good morning. I'm Hui Ching, your host for today. So, this is the last round of sound check. So, if you can hear me clearly, please type in the chat box and say hi to everybody. And at the same time, please take note of the house rule posted by my team itself. First, make sure that you get the best display so that you enjoy the tour. The second note that you should take is to make sure that you mute your mic and turn off your video for a more stable internet connection. We would love to see your faces, um, but not now. Uh, maybe we can see each of us at the end of the session when we take uh, group photos. Always use the chat box to actually uh, raise up your question or inquiries and make sure that your setting is set to everyone so that uh, we don't miss out your questions. Stand by your mobile phone so that uh, you are able to win the prizes uh, courtesy from PBA Penang. Right? Hi all. Hi, Fen Fen. Yeah, okay. I see quite a lot of numbers of participants are joining us at the very last minute. So maybe we give another five minutes to wait for everyone to be in. So yeah, while waiting for the rest. Play around with Zoom, make sure that you can hear me, see the video, see the pictures clearly. And then, uh, yeah, if you move your cursor to the bottom of the screen, you can see an icon of mute, uh, sorry, an uh, icon of mic and also the video. Thank you, Xiangyi, for the feedback. You can hear me very clearly. All right, hello, Prasanna. And also you can see a chat icon there. So click it in. This is the chat box that you can type in comments and questions. And also for participants, you can always use the icon of uh, raise up your hand so that we can actually unmute you in case you really want to speak. All right. Morning, Yiming. Okay, we still have participants coming in. Good morning, Yi Chen. Yeah, I'll try to say hi to everybody. In case I miss out your name, please say hi to me here. You can always type your comments and greetings in the chat box. I'm Hui Ching from Penang Green Council. So I'll bring you, I mean, I'll take you along to throughout this virtual tour together with our educational partners from PBA itself. Right, so I'll do another round of uh, introduction again while waiting for the rest of the participant to join us. Another two more minutes, yeah. So good morning, I'm Hui Ching, your host for today, the Virtual Green Map. So this program is brought to you by Penang Green Council and also supported by our educational partner, PBAPP. Thank you very much to PBA and also all our participants for joining us in this beautiful morning. So a little bit of introduction about Green Map. So it started as a physical tour, an eco tour where participants get the opportunities to actually join some uh, visit, on-site visit to environmental related facilities or the community efforts uh, uh, projects in Penang. So uh, for Blue Belt itself, uh, previously we did bring participants to some water 
related services and also facility, for example, um, the water treatment plant um, operated by PBA and also wastewater treatment plant by uh, IWK. So people get to understand better how does the whole process work, where is our water coming from and where does it go after we use it. So yeah, unfortunately this year we are unable to do it on site, but with the strong support from PBA, don't worry, we able to make it pull it through, and then we have this virtual green map. So we also have another belt, which is a golden belt, and then it's more on waste management. So we are going to bring participants to waste transfer station, landfill, and also some of the community recycling center. This is what we did previously. But this year we are turning it into a virtual map, a virtual tour as well. So uh, the, for Golden Belt itself, we are going to have it this coming September, yeah, which is next month. Right, so it's 11.05, I think uh, we should start now for the sake of uh, everyone. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. I know that everyone should be very excited. So yeah, uh, I think my team will continue to admit the rest of the participants and then I will read through the last round of house rule or you can view from the chat box itself. Make sure that you mute your mic for the best quality of the video, you can you should always turn off your camera so that you have the best quality of the uh, virtual tour itself, right? And then use the chat box, raise your question there. We will try our best to catch your questions and have your mobile phone standby for the quiz session. So without further ado, all right, let's get ready for with us. All right, okay, before we start, um, okay, hi, Ju. Um, we do have newsletter. Please uh, stay in touch with us. At the end of the session, we are going to uh, project our, our correspondent emails and also our websites so that you can actually follow us via our social media or our newsletter, yeah? Okay, getting ready of us. Imagine now we are under the hot sun. Not too sure uh, from which part you, you guys are from. Me, myself, is um, logging in from Johor. Yeah, currently I'm out of Penang. But yeah, if you are joining any physical tour, we always keep ourselves hydrated. So you can always get your coffee or tea ready with you, your water bottle with you throughout the tour. Get your stationaries uh, like a small notepad and your pen, pencil to jot down the important points. Um, for the best experience, we advise you to have your earphone on and also to make sure that you always uh, connect with us. Uh, we have give you some tips just now to off your camera so that you have a slightly better internet connection. Okay. All right. So next. Before we start the tour, I want to do a small activity, sort of like a small share um, survey. So if you are having your mobile with you, do join me at this small survey. Okay, this is not the quiz, yeah? It's just a small survey. Uh, we don't have prices for you, but we would love to see your response. Please join me at slido.com or you can use your mobile to scan the QR code there. So yeah, once you scan the QR code, you should be able to see the first questions and you can actually give your input via your mobile phone. So yeah, let's make it as a ice breaking session tell me which part of Penang you are, or Malaysia you are coming from so type your answer and just key in 
Oh, so we have friends from Sungai Dua, Teluk Kumba, Tanjung Bunga, Seberang Jaya, Bayan Lepas. We have friends from SPS as well. Okay, now Bayan Lepas is leading. <laughs> wow, we have friends from Kedai as well. You see, that's the good part about having a virtual tour. So it actually allow every one of us from no matter you are from which part of Malaysia to join this tour together. Okay. So Bayan Lepas is still leading. Georgetown, we have friends from Georgetown, Sungai Ara. Anyone from our neighbor states? Uh, Aside from Kedah, do we have friends from Police? Say hi, or do we have friends from Para? Okay, we have friends from Bukit Gambir. Hmm. We have 30 participants here, but currently only 19 of you is joining us for the rest. What happened? Are you able to join us in this short survey? If you're facing any problem, you can always let us know um, using your chat box. Oh, I see, like, we still have some friends uh, just join us. All right, for the newcomers, um, please join us at slido.com and key in the code S023. Tell us which part of Penang or Malaysia are you coming from? Mm hmm I see, I think we have majority coming, I mean, now we have, see the top three, Bayan Lepas, Sungai Ara, Simpang Pat. We only have one friend from, friend from Kedah. Yeah, who, who's from Kedah? Would you like to unmute yourself and say hi? Oh, we have friends from Kulim as well. Okay, and friends from Bukit Metajam, Bukit Jambil. Hi Hafizu, you are the one from, from Kedah, ya? Yeah? Burun Kedah. I hope everything is alright in Kedah itself now, under the MCO condition. Kita jaga kita, ya? Yeah? Oops, sorry. Okay, 24 of us have joined this poll, so still got people coming in, never mind. So moving on, okay, for, for the newcomers, you can always join in later. So let's go to the next questions. What was your monthly water bill? Yeah. Please choose from this option. Yeah, if you are paying your own water bill, I know some of us probably you stay with parents or yeah, probably your wife or your husband is the one paying. You have no idea how much you are paying for your water. If you're not really not too sure, maybe you want to make a wild guess. But I would strongly advise you to find out. Okay. Wow. For the time being, I can see more than 50% of our participant is paying around 6 ringgit to 24 ringgit per month, followed by the second 
category is between 25 to 50 ringgit. I think 23 is always the magical numbers. Huh? We always start at 23 participants joining this survey. But yeah, almost 60% is paying between the range of 6 to 24 ringgit per month. Let's move on to the next questions. So yeah, I think we all know that we can't live without water. So share with us what's the daily activities that you're, you're going through and then you can't do the daily activity without water. Okay. So is anyone having some issues? Let me see. Um, oh, yeah. So let's take a look. Hmm. Yeah, when we talk about water activities, I think everyone will not left out mandi lah, ya kan? Everyone mandi every morning. Drinking, yes. Um, hmm, wash your hands frequently. That's very important during this period of time. Laundry, washing clothes, cooking, yes. I'm not too sure about you guys, but I think during the MCO itself, I cook a lot at home. So yeah, definitely it contributes to more water usage. And recently, the weather is so hot. So I think we take more shower. The, the frequency of taking bath and also showering is higher, I guess. Yeah. So meanwhile, um, yeah, uh, for just now, someone is asking, how to actually stay connected with Penang Green Council, you can actually uh, check in the chat box now. My friend Kimberly have posted a few methods to stay connected with us. Okay, we have 25 of us joining this survey for the last questions. Thank you very much. Um, these activities serve as a small ice breaking sessions. So yeah, let's go back to our slide. Okay, can we have the slide back? Right, so that activity basically serves as a very short, um, okay, maybe it's time for me to show my face. Hi everyone, this is Hui Ching, uh, your host for today. So we just did a very short survey just now for us to start our virtual green map. For those who are coming in late, um, so sorry you have to start first because majority of us come in earlier. So for that activity just now, right, um, we can see that um, for this tour, we do have friends coming from different parts of Penang. Majority are Penang Knights. We do have friends from Kedah. So um, do you know that actually water is a state matter? Meaning to say that uh, water is under state jurisdiction. So don't be surprised that um, different state having different water tariff and also different water operators. So uh, state have the control of uh, water related matters, right? And also uh, in terms of water usage, so we can see that you guys posted up different activity that you're going to use water every day. So no matter where you are, you're still going to use water because water is life. So we cannot live without water, isn't it? Okay. So, um, yeah, let's move on to, before we start the tour, of course, we need to get to know a little bit about what is water. So can we have the next slide first? 
Yeah. So I did a little bit of homework before we, we have this tool. And um, I get to know that we have, um, I believe that we have some professional joining this tool. And also we have high school students. So um, I'm not going into details about what is water. I believe everyone have a, a common understanding about what is water. But yeah, I'm, what I'm going to share with you here is water by itself recycle so this is the beauty of our nature the mechanism actually of water cycle allow water to recycle by itself from the process of condensation precipitation which is basically the rainfall and then it goes into our lakes river and ocean through surface runoff and then it infiltrates to our soil and then go to groundwater and evaporate. So this mechanism by nature itself allow water to recycle. So imagine the water that you are taking today could be the same water that dinosaurs take like for how many million years, 460 million years ago. So because of this cycle itself, water actually able to remain the same quantity on the earth nearly at the constant all right and what i want to point out here today is also the concept of water catchment or some people refer it as river basin so i don't have any features or uh, any figures here but every one of us is living in a water catchment or river basin so imagine what is a water catchment Basically, a water basin, right? When you have a water basin, if you look at it from the side view, so the highest point will be the edge of the water basin. So that is where we actually take it as the mountain, the mountain area, the, the hilltop, where forests actually serve as the sponge to absorb, uh, absorb all the water from the rainfall. And then we, most of us, live at the flatland which is inside the basin itself that's where the water actually flow down to so that is a simple idea of what is a water basin so second concept that i would like to introduce is about the virtual water basically water exists everywhere from the food you eat the product you use the clothes the clothes that you wear the jeans that you wear everything um, consists of water. It's just that you cannot see it and we give this water a name called virtual water. So um, next time when you consume food or when you want to buy a product apart from carbon footprint, do consider about the water footprint as well because throughout the manufacturing process it actually takes up a lot of water to process it or deliver the food to your plate. Okay, so I'll, uh, these are the two concepts that I would like to introduce to you. One is about the water basin, uh, river, river basin or water catchment. Second will be the concept of virtual water. So next slide please. So yeah, so since water can be recycled by itself and water is everywhere, what is actually troubling us? So here you can see the first factors. Uh, first point is about the right place and the right time, right? And also second is about the quality and quantity. Let me explain a little bit. What do you mean? What does it mean by right place and right time? Say if the rainfall doesn't fall in the right place or the right time. Imagine the water basin just now, the concept of a water catchment or river basin. If the rainfall doesn't go into the basin and fall outside of the basin, then we are going that that basin area is going to have droughts or less rainfall. Or if the rainfall is uh, very heavy in that particular basin, then we are going to have flood. So these factors, the, the right place and right time, is now very much affected by climate change itself. So it linked to the second factor, which is the quantity. So some of the places might have prolonged drought 
or severe flood. And some of the states also when we have two liter of water, um, some of the state in Malaysia is experiencing water rationing. So these are some of the issues that are troubling us. And in terms of quality, so remember just now I mentioned that the amount of water on the earth itself is constant, nearly constant. So some of you might have questioned then why are we still having issue of uh, not having enough water? So the problem now uh, is are we having the clean water? So these pictures, the, the bottom pictures, took place in somewhere in Penang. So uh, anyone want to make a guess? Where is it? Let's see. No one want to make a guess? Where is it? It's one of the major rivers in, in Penang Island itself. All right, so, okay, let's see. If, uh, Sungai Pinang, correct. Uh, Marcus also get it right. Yeah, so uh, both Marcus and Hafizu get it right. This is one of the quote-unquote famous rivers, Sungai Pinang. Um, yeah, this is where the log boom is. And every day, our friends from um, Jabatan Pengairan Saliran is cleaning this log boom, which uh, have trap a lot of rubbishes rubbish so yeah this is the problem whereby when we have polluted water it actually affecting our water supply as well why because a majority of our water actually come from rivers so when we have polluted water our water treatment cost is increasing so yeah the issue that is troubling us with water now is whether it falls in the right place at right time and are we having a good quality of water, all right? So next. So talking about amount of water. So all of us know that the earth is covered by 70% of water and now of this 70%, 97% is salt water, means that we can't consume salt water and left only 3% of fresh water. So try to make a guess, out of this 3%, we can't consume this 3%, 100% of this 3%, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, let me show you how much of water that we can actually consume from this 3% of fresh water. Okay. So this is the donut chart that I would like to share with you. I, I guess uh, many of you are familiar with it. So these are the amount of clean water that is accessible to us. Out of this 3% of fresh water, up to 69% of it is kept in glacier or ice cap. About 30% is uh, kept in the groundwater itself and only 1% of or less is the surface water that we can actually tap off, tap it from. So uh, surface water means that uh, water that we can get it from lakes and rivers. So yeah, that is very little of fresh water that available for human consumption. And we all know that we can't drink dirty water, right? Because dirty water will make us sick. But uh, yeah, sadly to say that uh, globally, at least 2 billion of people are using uh, drinking water that contaminated with feces. So here in Penang, we are lucky enough to have uh, PBA as our water operators to actually help us to uh, produce a very clean and accessible water for, for our portable use. Okay, so next. Um, I would like to end this introduction with this quote from National Geographic back in 1993. All the water that will ever be is right now. So yeah, remember I shared with you the, the amount of water on this earth is constant. Okay, so be it clean or polluted, conserve it or waste it for these precious resources is very much depend on us. So we have to decide what we're going to do next.
Okay, so it's time for me now to introduce my co-host today, Mr. Nadan Krishnan from Perbadanan Bekalan Air Pulau Pinang. Hi Nadan, would you like to show your face and say hi? Okay, so Mr. Nadan is going to take us through for the second part of the virtual tour. So as we take you along, we are going to show you the major water catchment area contribute to Penang water supplies. And we are going to show you the water treatment process as well. Last but not least, uh, some of the water saving tips from the professional and also some water conservation program that we would like to share with every one of you. So over to you, Nadin. Thank you, Ms. Suchi. Okay, for good morning to all participants. Thank you for joining on a virtual green map 2020. Okay, for my side, we have, hold on, change to my slides first. Okay. We will talk about water supply in Penang. Okay, for intro, we will have the water supply engineering in Penang. Then we will have Penang raw water challenges. Okay, then we will have water treatment in Penang. And finally, final segment is on water conservation initiative in Penang. Okay, the next slide, you can see the map of Penang where it shows our facilities. Okay, here you can see with the location whereby you can see all the treatment plants. The star mark is the treatment plants. Okay. And the major water treatment plant is the Sungai Dua water treatment plant. Okay, next, you will have a video on the introduction. Okay, here we will have this picture. I hope you can guess from this, this picture where is it from. Okay, I will play the video. Welcome to a PBAPP video presentation on water supply engineering in Penang. We will share key information on three topics. Penang's raw water challenge, water treatment in Penang, and water conservation initiatives in Penang. The history of water supply engineering in Penang can be traced back to 1805. In that year, the Waterfall Water Treatment Plant was commissioned by the British colonial government. It served the water supply needs of about 10,000 people living in Georgetown. The raw water resource it tapped was the picturesque waterfall in the Penang Botanical Gardens. This heritage facility continues to serve Penang until today in 2020. However, much has changed in the last 215 years. Today, in 2020, about 1.78 million people live in the state of Penang. Penang has become an international hub for high-tech manufacturing, services and tourism. Penang's contribution to Malaysia's GDP was estimated to be RM 97 billion in 2018. In 2019, Penang's average water consumption was 843 million litres per day. This is equivalent to 562 million big 1.5 litre water bottles every day. PBAPP is responsible for water supply 24-7 to 631,000 250 registered water consumers in Penang. Please bear in mind that water supply is an essential public service. Everyone needs sufficient water to drink, cook, wash, clean and bathe every day. All the businesses that operate in Penang also need water to conduct their operations every day. At PBAPP, we provide this essential service on a 24-7 basis to all water consumers in Penang. We appreciate the support from all our customers and we seek their understanding, cooperation and involvement in PBAPP's initiatives to ensure 
continuous and good water supply in Penang until 2050. Thank you. Uh, if you can guess the picture earlier, it was actually Penang waterfall in a botanical garden. So for the next segment, I'll pass back to Ms. Sui Ching. All right, thank you, Nandan. So yeah, fellow participants, are you ready for our first quiz time? So just some terms and conditions, yeah, uh, it's on my count. And also whoever who get the correct answer, the first correct answer will be the winners that receive from the organizers, uh, organizer sites. So my colleagues will basically trace uh, back who is the first one who get the correct answer from the chat box. So are you ready? So use your chat box, type your answer from in the chat box itself once I review the question. Okay, can we have the first question please? Who commissioned the first water treatment plant in Penang? Three, two, one, go. Answers. All right, we have first. Uh, okay, we have correct answer from Prasanna KR, British. Marcus, a bit late. Emang, a bit late. <laughs> but uh, uh, I haven't reviewed the, the correct answer yet, right? Oh, we have also Cocaine giving the answer British. Okay, let's review the first answer. Who is the one commissioned the first water treatment plant? British colonial government. Yeah, we have few people getting the correct answer, but the first one here is um, what I can get from my chat box here is Prasanna, you're getting the prizes for the first questions. Let's moving on to the next second question. How many people does the first water treatment plant serve? All right, I can see answers uh, pouring in. Only three people getting the answers. Why we always stop at three? Thank you. 1.7 million. Okay, so can we take a look at uh, the answer for second questions? It's 10,000 people, yeah. So, um, from my side, I can see that uh, Kailin, Kailin is the first one who get the correct answer, 10,000, okay. So for the winners of the pop quiz, please stay uh, until the end of the session and then um, my team will get in touch with you to get the contact details. Right, um, Rose, uh, this is a little bit more, 1.7 million, yeah. N never mind, we still have more quiz coming up. Next question, please. What is the age of PBA oldest water treatment plant? Come on, who want to make a guess? Okay, we have 205, we have one, 215, 210, 205, okay. Where's the rest of the answer? Huh, I think probably because you don't get your notepad and your pen standby, right? Quickly go and grab your pen and pencils. We have three more rounds of quiz. 300 years, wow. Okay, let's see what's the answer for the last questions for this session. The correct answer is 215 years. <laughs> okay, so yeah, from my side, I think the first who get the answer correctly is Ju, Ju Bei, right, Ju. Okay, so never mind. Stay tuned, follow us through. We still have more quizzes coming up. Thank you very much for the participation for this round of quiz. Um, back to you, Nadan. We let's continue the second session of the tour. Thank you, Ms. Ching. Okay, we'll go for the second segment.
Okay. The next segment is on raw water challenge. Okay. Also, we can see from this uh, coming up video is on the raw water. Okay. Firstly, where does our raw water is sourced from? Okay. Mainly, our raw water source from mainland is Sungai Muda River and Sungai Kulim. For island, we have dam, Aitam Dam, Teluk Bahang Dam, waterfall, and other small rivers. Okay, but if you see for the for Penang water supply, the main water is from Sungai Muda River, where we we supply more than eighty percent from the Sungai Dua water treatment plant. Okay, if you see the next picture on this uh, slide, can you guess where's the picture from? Okay, for further, I will, part, I will play the next video to have more understanding for the raw water. the picture the picture is from I Tam Dam. Okay. For the next session next segment I will pass back to Miss Hui Ching. Thank you. Thank you Nadan. So yeah ladies and gentlemen who follow our tour are you still there? Is everyone still there? It's been a, a very shy group, yeah. So uh, yeah, I, I myself, I enjoyed the bird eye view for Ulumula Forest just now. I'm not too sure about you. And then for the video just now, right, it actually showed quite a number of uh, important water catchment, including uh, Aidam Dam 
and etc. and the Ulu Muda Kalam itself. So I hope that uh, you guys spot a few important uh, water catchment area that supply water to Penang as well. So yeah, here comes the second quiz time. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, cool. So I'm going to read out the first question for second quiz. Okay, well, now we are very kind, we provide some options. What is the Penang uh, water consumption percentage for the past 20 years? 492, 482, 428. Cheng, cheng, cheng. Wow, when we have options, we have more answers coming in. All right, okay. So let's see who we'll get the right answer. Who is the first one who get the right answer? Okay, from my side, I can see Lao Yi Chen get the correct answer. Uh, sorry, um, uh, <laughs> let's review the answer first. Um, yeah, can we review the answer for the first question? Yes, 48.2. So, yeah, I'm right. Um, Lao Yi Chen, you got the right uh, answer correctly, and you're the first winner. Thank you very much. Congratulations, and also thank you for the rest for the participation. Okay. Don't give up, we still have two more questions in this session. Second question. Which Prime Minister launched the Muda River Water Scheme? Uh-huh. I think it's very obvious from the tour just now. Okay, keep pouring in your answers. <laughs> Who is the second minister? Who is Raza? <laughs> Okay, any more answers coming in before I close? Okay, la, as usual in, in one class, we have active students and uh, we have very shy students. What is Comta Star? Okay, <laughs> that is a very indirect answers. So let's review the answer for second questions. Tun Abdul Raza. Okay, Tun Abdul Raza. Let's see who get the first answer correctly. <laughs> XPM state that. Okay. All right. Uh, we have um. Okay, from my side we have Hafizul. Hafizul, you got the correct answer. Tun Abdul Raza. Congratulations. So for the rest, thank you for the creative answers. Keep it up. We would love to see more creative answers coming in. All right. So, third question, please. What is Penang major water supply? What is the major water supply catchment area? Wow, wow, wow. Now, this round, I see um, answers pouring in at a faster rate. Okay, we have Sunai Muda, Ulu Muda. Very precise answers. Okay, any more questions, uh, answers coming in? Okay, so, okay, we have quite a number of answers already. I'll, I decided to close these uh, questions and review the answer, please. Ulu Muda, okay. So, yeah, Ulu Muda basically is the upstream. So basically, um, yeah, the catchment area is uh, Sungai Muda or Ulu Muda. So I will take um, Abil Ansels as the correct one. So Abil, you got the correct answer. Oh, we have Rachel, Rachel mentioning that Sungai Muda in Ulu Muda. Um, Okay, this is something more precise. Okay, I'll, I'll take Abel and uh, Rachel as the winner for this. Uh, sorry, not the winner. I'll, I'll take Abel and Rachel's answers first. Uh, let me discuss with PDA and let them decide who will be the winners, yeah? Between Abel and Rachel, all right? Thank you for the rest, for the participation. I guess now everyone know about Sungai Muda already. So let's continue with the third part of our tour. 
Nadan, back to you. Thank you, Ms. Ching. Okay, for the third part, we will talk about water treatment plants. Okay, here we'll go for water treatment in Penang. Okay, first of all, we will see how the water is treated. Okay, so raw water will go under the treatment process where the raw water will be screened for the bigger particles. And it goes for the coagulation, filtration, sedimentation, where it removes the particles, further fine particles. Okay, then we'll go for the post chemical treatment where we'll add chlorine, fluoride. Okay, then we go to the water quality testing. Here we will test if safe for water drink for drinking and consumption. Then the water is ready for clean water supply for distribution. Okay, here we have a picture. Okay, this picture shows a process for water treatment plant. Okay, uh, I hope somebody can guess from the next uh, video we will be playing on the water treatment. The 2019 test results indicated that Penang's treated water quality was amongst the best in Malaysia, in line with the Penang State Government's Cleaner, Greener, Safer and Healthier Penang Initiative. Okay, have you guessed it? Anyone have a guess? And then I think uh, some 
someone the guess segment. yeah someone actually answer in the chat box uh, i think we have Xiang Mi saying that uh, she she tried to make a guess oh, sorry i hope it's a she is sentimentation yeah is it correct and yeah. we have uh, it's actually uh, inclined, inclined fly, uh, inclined plates in a sedimentation tank. It's a correct filtration. Also. It can't be filtration. Filtration is another process where another process is correct and says sedimentation. The inclined plates in the sedimentation tank. So mm -hmm. for the next quiz section, I'll pass back to Miss Wichi. All right. Thank you, Nandan. So apparently, the three pictures that uh, Nandan showed earlier of the section itself is the same process is sedimentation yeah okay so now the round of quiz uh, let's get everyone ready and we have the first question name two water treatment plants operated in penang any two name any two yeah, take note of the question, yeah. Name any two water treatment plants operated in Penang. Okay, more answers coming in. We have uh, Kok King answered. We have Chilun answered. We have Marcus, Ju. Uh, okay, one. When you answer right, you have to answer two answers in one time. We are, don't answer two separate time and then we are unable to, to actually capture it. Okay, I'm closing this question in another five seconds. Five, four, three, three and a half, three and a quarter, uh, and two and two and a half and one closing okay too many answers coming in let's see what's the correct answer and uh, i'll get my team to actually shortlist the one who get the answers correctly let come let's take a look at what is the correct answer okay this is a list of it we have batu fringi and then we have waterfall, Penang Hills, Nepinang, and etc. Okay, so uh, for those who have answered, please stay until the end of the session and then we will notify who's the winner for these uh, questions. Okay, yeah, because too many of you answering and um, yeah, let's move on to second questions. Which is the Penang um, most important water supply facilities. I think this question is kind of straightforward. Okay. Well, well I see now everyone is uh, waking up with more answers coming in. <laughs> Sungai Dua and then we have, uh, yeah, Sungai Dua again, Sungai Dua water treatment plant. Okay, shall we review the answers? Correct, most of you get it correctly, it's Sungai Dua Water Treatment Plant. So again, my team will get the name of the participant who got the answers correctly, the first participant who got the answers correctly. So stay tuned until the end of the program, we will let you know who is the one that get the answer, the, the prize. The third question. Okay, third question. We have, how much water is produced at Sungai Dua Water Treatment Plant for Penang's water supply daily? Okay, so uh, okay. to narrow it down a bit, the answer should be in percentage, okay? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have different, different answers coming in. As I've mentioned, the answer should be in percentage. 
um, not liters, yeah, not other units. Okay, right. So let's see what's the answer now. So, okay, I can see most of you getting it correctly. It's up to 80% of the water is produced at Sungai Dua water treatment plant. Right, so you can we can see that it is very important for Penang water supply uh, at Sungai Dua water treatment plant. So up to 80% of our water actually come from that. Okay, so now coming to the last sections of our virtual tour, back to you, Nadan. Thank you, Mr. Jing. Okay. We'll go for the last section. The last segment is on water conservation. Okay. Why we have to conserve water? Okay, that's a very important question to everyone. Because from the video earlier, from the raw water, you can see our limited water source. Okay, increasing of demand. The demand due to the population and the development in Penang. And it's also, we can see from the lifestyle on usage of water. How we can conserve water from this? Okay, use water wisely. Example, when you're brushing your teeth, you can use a cup of water instead of direct flow from the tap. From bathing, you can close the tap during the sharp soaping session. Okay. Other than that, we also have water saving devices. Example, such as a dual flush. Uh, we have taps in the flow regulator, which can help you to save water automatically. Next slide. We will show what are the type of water saving device is existed in here. Here we can see again it says on the shower, tap equipment, toilets, urinal, washing machine, and dishwasher. In PBA, we have two two type of water conservation going on. One is a part one will be on the active uh, water conservation. The second part is a program to reward people on the water conservation through Aquasave. I will talk about it after the first video. In the last 20 years, PBAPP has been leading the way in promoting water conservation in Malaysia. On the surface, it seems odd for a company to encourage its customers to use less of its products. However, the following facts and figures explain the rationale for PBAPP's water conservation initiatives. Water is an indispensable element for daily life and socio-economic activities. Penang is a state with unlimited socio-economic potential, but limited raw water resources. In the past 20 years, Penang's population has increased by 43.9% from 1.23 million people in 2000 to 1.77 million people in 2019. Penang's GDP has increased by 470% from RM17 billion in 2000 to RM97 billion in 2018. Penang's daily water consumption has increased by 48.2% from 569 MLD in 2000 to 843 MLD in 2019. Penang is too highly dependent on one major raw water resource, Sungai Muda. Sungai Muda may only meet Penang's raw water needs until 2025. Since 2011, Penang has proposed the Sungai Perak Raw Water Transfer Scheme or SPRWTS to tap a second major raw water resource until 2050. Until today, the federal government has not implemented the SPRWTS. PBAPP is in the process of drafting the Penang Water Supply Initiative 2050 to outline contingency water projects for the future. However, 
it is likely that the first phase of the PWSI 2050 projects will only be commissioned from December 2024. on the AquaSafe program. AquaSafe program is an initiative from PBAPP. It's a collaboration with the state government to award industry and organization which are committed in the water conservation activities. Okay, this scheme is implemented through the certification to recognize water efficiency of an organization. Also, we will rewarding this organization with two year consecutive Year certification and this special award uh, we can get more info from the, our PBPP website okay I will play the next video um, hi Prasanna and Juby uh, we'll get back to you on this let's take a look at the video first We have been involved in the Green School program and also AquaSafe run by Penang Green Council and also PBAPP since 2017. Every year we will launch a water saving campaign where students will be told how to use water wisely. Our next project is rainwater harvesting. We started off with top rain, an innovation from Sorry guys, I think um, yeah, we have some issues with the video stopping. Um, Nadan, would, are you still there? Yeah, give us a second. Um, I think PBA site is um, relaunching the video. Yeah, at the same time, uh, for those uh, who have actually tried to answer our quiz, please stay until the end of the session um, and also those who haven't tried also we have more quiz coming up stay until the end of the session we will announce the quiz winner list again so yeah stay with us
Okay, sorry, because I got disconnected. I will start back the video. Welcome back, Nanda. No worries. So, yeah. Now then, uh, I guess the video is not connect to any audio output. Would you like to try again? We have been involved in the Green School program and also AquaSafe run by Penang Green Council and also PBAPP since 2017. Every year we will launch a water saving campaign where students will be told how to use water wisely. Our next project is rainwater harvesting. We started off with Top rain, an innovation from liquid detergent bottles to collect rainwater. And we move on to use two big barrels to collect rainwater and we use them to water all the plants in the school. Our recent project is using reusable water from our aquaponic and our fish pond in the school. Whenever we wash the ponds, we will use the water to water the plants. So, we started off our rainwater harvesting project in February 2019. We collect rainwater from the rooftop of our building. We have gutters and rainwater down pipes to collect water. throughout the entire process. We also have screener and trainer and for our rainwater harvesting tank, the water will be collected and distributed to our garden tap which will water the plants automatically. This project helps to conserve water. It saves water and also reduces our water bill. When we compared our water usage from 2018 with 2019, our water usage was reduced by 30% to 40%. This achievement was contributed by our school pupils, alumni, parents and teachers. For Osram, assuming social and corporate responsibility means protecting the environment, ensuring occupational safety and health, and preserving the natural resources. Water conservation is one of the areas that we are focused on. In 2012, when we want to build a new Pan 32 buildings, we look into the design that allow us to harvest the rainwater at the roof, which then flow below and store it in an underground water tank. This water is being used for gardening and toilet flushing. It saves us approximately 1,500 meter cube of water annually. Since 2013, we have been certified by AquaSafe and Green Building Index. Austrian management is very happy that we are part of the AquaSafe project. Thank you. Uh, Water Watch Penang is an NGO. Uh, we were formed in 1997. Our collaboration with uh, PBA are in three areas, but all these three areas are link. Uh, the important thing is the focus will be water conservation. So the first thing we collaborate with them is to do public awareness and education pro program, uh, mostly on uh, how to conserve water, how to save water uh, in the house as well as in uh, public places. Our second focus is with the schools. Uh, we educate the school children on uh, water conservation at home and hopefully we ask them to bring this back to their parents so their parents and their family members can also practice water saving and conservation. The third aspect of water conservation is uh, big events like a World Water Day. We hold it, you know, uh, maybe about 500 to 1,000 people go attend and uh, water exhibition. Uh, most of the time, the exhibition is on water saving devices and on water conservation and saving. Actually, Penangites use the most water in the whole country. Average Malaysian using about 200, but we are nearly 300. So I think we need to come down at least to the average Malaysian level. So to, to transform Penang society into a water saving society would be our ultimate aim and our dream. Okay. 
with All that right. ends the session from my side. Okay, I will pass back the floor to Ms. Winchi. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Nadine. Here comes the last session of quiz and uh, followed with a, a, a short session of Q&A. So stay tuned with us. For those who haven't tried to answer our quiz, please get these opportunities to grab the last chance to win some prizes from us. All right, are you ready? So let's go for the last round of quiz. First questions. Name two programs on continuous water conservation. Yeah, this is quite straightforward as well. I think from the video itself, you can get some uh, answers from it. So yeah, please send us the program's name. Yeah. So we have answers from Evil. We have Ninyun also answering us. Mm -hmm. Okay, keep your answers coming in, Kailin and also Chilun, Xiangni, thank you for the answers. Okay, let's review the answer now. Okay, we have listed two here, which is the Aqua Safe and also the Annual Water, Water, uh, World Water Day celebrations. I see some of you actually giving some other answers as well. So don't worry, um, our team uh, taking note and uh, we are going to have some discussion. At the same time, so let's move on to the second question. We will announce the winner later. Second question, please. Name one of the organizations that collaborate with PBAPP for water conservation. Take note that is collaboration, yeah? <laughs> okay. So we have answer from Xiangni, we have answer from Prasanna, Rose, Shariha, Hafizul. Okay, let's take a look at the answers. Okay. Um, we have Water Watch Penang and also Penang Green Council. So these are the organizations that have collaborated with PBA for water conservation program. Okay. For Rose, your answer on Austrian, basically Austrian participate in AquaSafe program. So they are not the collaborator, but more on like participation. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, next questions. The last question for the quiz for today. Okay, name two water saving tips that you observe from the video itself, right? So if you have, if you have been paying attention to uh, what we have trying to showcase just now, you will see a few water conservation tips from the video itself. So do share with us what have you noticed from our video just now. Okay. Use wisely. How to use wisely, Chilun? Name a few tips. Abel, saving kids and rainwater harvesting. Okay, and what else we have? Use water saving devices. Collect rainwater. Okay, and then we have Rachel's, Rachel saying that we use water for gardening and toilet flushing. Shower taps and top rain. Hmm. Give your answers as precise as possible, guys. Okay. Okay. Any more answers coming in? Okay. I do. I will close at uh, Shari. Okay. Chilun. Chilun is the last who answered this question. I'll stop here. So let's take a look at um our answers so yeah from the video itself you can see there is a, a scene showing that you should do a full load of laundry to save more water okay and also we did show rainwater harvesting systems that you can install in your own premises schools or house and then use bucket instead of hose for water washing car 
And then what else we have? Do we still have in the list? Oh, these are the few examples, yeah? Okay, so <clears throat> thank you very much for your participation, everyone, for the quiz. This will be the last round. And uh, my team is sorting out who is winning the prizes. So at the same time, here come to the end to, uh, of our green map virtual green map session, we would like to open uh, the floor up for everyone to, to ask any questions regarding our virtual green map uh, that uh, we have actually uh, walked you through. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, type it out in our chat box. If you really feel like you want to say something instead of typing it out, please raise your hand and uh, we will unmute you. So I think just now we have a question about where to get water saving kits. Yeah, uh, Nadan, would you like to take this question? Thank you, Vicky. For the water saving kit, we are giving out at uh, our customer service. So from the earlier map, you can see so many customer service. So example for Sabarang side, we have a uh, customer service at the Kapala Batas, we have one in uh, Batam, we have one in uh, Jawi, and another one in uh, Prai. You can visit any customer service over here for the Sabrang side. If for the Penang side, you can visit our customer service at uh, Komtar, at uh, Bayan Lepas, at uh, Avenue Park. Then we have one in uh, Rifle Range, our Rifle Range complex. Then another one at the Bali Pulau. You can visit any of this customer service to collect your water saving kits for free. Thank you. I'll pass back to Uchi. Yeah, thank you very much, BBA. So for the information of everyone, these water saving kits is free of charge. It's free. So feel free to drop by any of the uh, BBA count, uh, customer service counters and uh, the list of the counters can be actually uh, get it from BBA website as per shown in the slides all right so next question let's see if we have any questions um okay we have comments uh from shamilia thank you for joining us um yeah you mentioned that you joined world water day 2019 huh? so you are from schools right or any uh, organizations maybe you can let us know any more questions? Um, okay, we are running a little bit late. So yeah, we have questions. Okay, see, I got a question from Kylie. Can we conserve all the rivers from Penang as water source as a backup plan since Sungai Perak agreement is still not finalized yet? Okay, I, I think this is like a suggestion from Kylie. Yeah, to urge everyone to conserve the real qualities in Kaling, uh, in Penang. So Kaling, I totally agree with you. Uh, I think it's our responsibility to make sure that the rivers in Penang is clean. In fact, no matter where you go in Malaysia, please take care of our rivers because uh, water flow interstate. Uh, yeah, today you throw your rubbish in this drain, it will end up in our oceans anywhere. So please take care of our rivers, especially the one in Penang. Yeah, we have to actually take care of ourselves and also take care of the rest as well. Okay. Um, yeah. And then Okay, Shamilia, you are basically USM volunteers, yeah? Yeah, USM has been very supportive in terms of uh, water conservation program. Okay, next question is from Rose. Um, how is the treated water transported to Penang Island from Kedah and Para? Uh, currently, we don't have any water coming from Para yet, Rose. As for the one from Kedah, um, okay. Nad, uh, I'll pass it to PBA to answer these questions. Nadir? Okay, thank you, Ms. Ching. Okay, for Kerda, we don't have any water transported, treated water transported from Kerda to Penang. What we are taking water is actually from our side, from the Penang Sungai Muda. So basically, is we tap it from Sungai Muda at the Penang State. 
Okay, thank you. I hope this answers your question. Yeah, to, to further clarify, Rose, uh, basically, the water source, Ulu Muda itself, the catchment is in Kedah, but um, for Penang to tap the water, our water treatment plant is actually at uh, sort of like the downstream of Sungai Muda, which is in Sungai Dua water treatment plant located in Penang itself. Yeah. So, um, Nadan, maybe you want to add on a little bit how does the water actually come from Sungai Dua to sort of like uh, Penang Island, maybe? Rose is interested to know. It's like through uh, water tunnel or something like that. Okay, we have four, uh, four main, line, main lines for Penang Island submarine from the Sungai, Sungai Dua water treatment plant. We channel until we reach until uh, Bukit Dambar water pumping station where here water will be added, put in the reservoir and it will be pumped throughout the Penang, Penang Island. Yeah. That's all. Uh, if for future, she also asked about for the future. Actually, yeah. if you see from the video, the para water transfer, it will be having uh, the water channel to the our Sungai Karyan there. If we will tap the water from Sungai Karyan, we will build another water treatment plant. It's a future plan. Okay, so uh, basically the water won't be transported from other, treated water won't be transported from any other state. We'll treat the water in Penang itself. Okay, pass back to Huching. Thank you, Nandan, for answer, uh, taking the questions from Rose. I hope uh, it's being answered well. All right. So uh, I'll take the last question from Xiangmi. Okay. Um, partially question and partially is comment. Uh, Xiangmi mentioned that you have more questions to PBA on how to reach bigger groups to tell them that we are in water crisis. And uh, you mentioned that... Uh, your, your suggestion is we should act now to play our role. One point is to save water to repair the leak. Okay, and also please help to look into the area, especially for those in food court and also markets. Okay, um, yeah, thank you very much, Siangmi, for this uh, sort of like partially questions and also um, about your suggestion to take care of uh, the water leaks. I think, all right. So um, maybe on reaching out a bigger group uh, in terms of uh, water crisis from Penang Green Council side, all right, uh, we actually uh, working hand in hands with PVA on several water conservation program. For example, if you're coming from schools or offices, you can always join Penang Green School program or Penang Green Office program Part of it, uh, of this program, we have Aquasave program as one of the important elements. So, yeah. So, through this program, you are able to educate your fellow employers and employees, your school students, colleagues about water issues and how to conserve our water better. As for outreach part, um, if you following, if you are our followers, uh, Penang Green Council followers, we always have um, different educational talks. Like uh, we have a session called Senbang, and um, we do talk about water crisis and uh, water issues that we are facing now in Penang, together with PBA and Water Watch Penang. And also, you can always follow uh, Water Watch Penang, which is a very active water conservation. Uh, NGO in Penang as well. So these are some of the um, organization that you can actually uh, stay uh, through with them uh, on their program and projects. All right, on water leaking part, I think uh, it's our res everyone responsibility to actually keep the authority informed. I think PBA customer service is always there 24 seven. You can reach out to them through their emails, calls, and my personal experience is uh, even Facebook Messenger is also a good, very good channel for, for you to actually raise up your concern. All right. 
So Anadan, do you have anything to add on in terms of um, leaking pipes? Okay, thank you, Hu Ching. So as Hu Ching said, it's a very important customer's feedback. So when consumer feedback reaches, we will try to repair as, as soon as possible. That's how we save water from the leakings. So we can't go check um, at the place, as you said, at the places like market and food courts. If a customer report to us, we will take action as soon as possible. Thank you, Richie. Yeah, thank you, PBA. I hope this answers is uh, um, actually answered whatever being raised by Xiang Ni. Yeah? Uh, okay, it's 12 30. We have uh, more questions coming in. So uh, let's see. Um, we have one question from Hafizo about Shrata development. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, can you actually drop us an email so that uh, we will get back to you on this? What is the plan to save water? And also, uh, we have questions from Ju uh, regarding apps from PBA or MVPP to report leaks. Um, this one, um, PBA, do you want to answer? Do you have any platform to report leaks? Uh, the, I mean, the applications? Yeah, from the PBA apps itself, you can report it. Also, you can to Facebook as a, you can just uh, text us in a messenger in a Facebook app, uh, Facebook Messenger. So you can reach us there. If you can't reach by phone, you can reach us from there as well. Okay, just to uh, confirm back, uh, Nadine. So basically, public can report leaks uh, through PBA application and also Facebook. Yeah, uh, for Hafizo question is a bit complicated. Uh, we will get back to you, I mean, pri uh, through private message or maybe email you later. Okay, so yeah, um, it's about time. It's 12.31. Sorry guys for taking up so long of your time. So it's time for us to reveal the winner list for our pop quiz. Okay, so yeah. Now we have, um, okay, so we have Prasanna, we have Kylie, Ju, Ju Bei, Lao Yi Chen, Hafizu, Marcus, Ngo Chi Lun, Kok Keng Ong, uh, No Shamilia, Amani, and then Abel. Sorry if I pronounce your name correctly, A B I E L, and also Rachel. So, yeah, so 12 of you, uh, please stay a little bit longer here before, uh, after everyone is locked out. Um, our team, uh, Miss Kimberly, will private message you and then to get in touch with you regarding how we can actually get the prices uh, delivered to you. All right, for the rest, thank you very much for spending your Saturday morning with us. I hope everyone enjoying this virtual tour, despite some of the technical hiccups. Uh, we still, uh, Abel, will please stay a little bit longer. My colleagues, uh, Kimberly, will keep in touch, will private message you uh, regarding how to collect the, the prices. All right, for the rest, uh, happy weekend and stay safe during this uh, RMCO period time. Hope to see you soon. Next month, we are going to have the Golden Belt of Virtual Green Map to bring you to our waste transfer station in Batu Maung as well. Again, uh, on behalf of PBA and Penang Green Council, thank you very much for your participation. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>